What's up guys? Hey, it's been a while and I know it. But, winter in Ohio, it's boring. I do a lot of hiking and stuff, but I eh, just don't ever film it. But, it's getting back into the camping season here. It's uh, mid-February, but I think the weather's about to change here, so I'm hoping anyhow. But anyhow, as you can see on the screen back here, uh, I wanted to do a quick uh, I don't know if I'll call this a review. I do like it and I have used this quite a few times But it's the clam Venture uh, Quick set. It's a five-sided screen room uh, You could go back to my West Branch five-day trip and I set it up there and talk about it a little bit there But we're also gonna go outside and set this thing up because I bought side panels, which are also in that camp video, but I had to buy more. That's kind of a pain in the ass too, I'll explain that here in a minute. But anyhow, uh, yeah, we'll take this outside and I want to put the buddy heater in there. Today's a good day for that because I'll put on five side panels, or four side panels, sorry. Uh, they really don't make one for the door, but that's, that's fine. We'll put four on, and then I want to put this in there and see how warm we can get it. It's about 24 degrees outside. It's sunny, so that will help a little to heat it up. But it's really cold and fairly windy today, so we'll get that set up, and we'll see if we can get it warm, and if that would be an option. You know, if you're out chilling at a campground or whatever, wherever, and you want to set this thing up and throw your buddy heater in there just to see if you can stay warm. Set it up in your back field, put this in there, table. You could fit four people in this with a table and chairs. Price on this, as you can see, this is right now, mid-February 2020 here, uh, $185.90. I think I paid about that, $187, $189, something like that. So, and then I bought the panels. This is another three pack. This is how it comes in the mail. I just got this again. So I've already ordered one of these, a three pack, and then I ordered another three pack. The reason I bought the three packs each time was because it's barely more money. This go around, it, would, it was six dollars more for me to buy the three pack than it is the two pack and I figure hey if one of these rips or something I might as well have the extra so now I'll have two extra I only need one out of this pack and I spent like 50 bucks on this I'll show you this outside some people I'd seen had asked before on other things that I've looked at if you can put this away with the side panels on or if you got to take them off we'll see I honestly don't remember the last time I used this and it was awesome again go check out that October camping video even if you just skip and watch the clam part I mean the leaves were just coming down so hard it rained the thing I did waterproof the top and it stayed just like completely dry I mean you could run your hand over the roof when it was soaked and not even get your hand wet it did really well kept all the leaves off it's really nice to eat in and stuff like that you know it was just a clean area kept all the leaves watch the video because I mean the leaves were just dumping down so, anyhow, the clam itself, this is it, standing up, you know, so I'm not very tall, probably 5'6", maybe. This is pretty close to that. So, it's not super small while it's down, but it was still smaller than the other canopy I had. It's faster. Um, when you set this thing up, I mean, you flick the side of it, it's, it's tight. It's really tight. It's nice. Sets up real quick. We'll be doing that outside here shortly. And, uh, it weighs about 30 pounds. Uh, and I have the three panels in here, and then these will also get stored in here, I imagine. Maybe I'll keep the other two out, just so they don't get lost or pinched or anything like that. But... I guess just about all that's left is, well, we'll put on a little bit warmer clothes and uh, head outside. We'll set this thing up and we'll see if the buddy heater can heat it up.
four corners. And then it Velcros, so there's a flap up here. All right, guys, here's what I was saying with the flaps. You know, they Velcro, they hook here. Velcro here, they all four corners hook. They Velcro so this flap hangs down. That way the rain runs over it, you know? You can, you'll have to tuck it occasionally. See, these come undone. People that were wondering if you can leave them on, you can, but those come undone. And then this gets you know it'll be inside of this hole so it's kind of hard to find that's what i was saying earlier um but yeah all four corners and then your windows just velcro in one two three four five spots and you can roll them up and tie them up this is one of the smaller ones they make a four-sided one i didn't want it too big because i got to carry a lot of stuff in the camper and this is all i need and i wanted it to keep warm like i was saying if you want and a couple buddies wanted to get in here and shoot you know guns just tie these up the middle guy shoots and then you could have your buddy heater in here table set up chairs i think you could easily set up four chairs in there and a table and uh, again check out that other video if you want to see some chairs and tables and we eat in there all right another thing is there is a hook up here or a little eyelet so you can hook carabiner there or whatever and hang lights so it feels already a lot warmer in here than it is outside just from not having any wind this is still a really nice option for cooler weather in my opinion and and just a pretty solid unit all right we hit 28 There, I don't know if you saw that light up, but this thing pumps out a pretty good amount of heat, so try not to turn it off as I move it. See, it already warmed up to 30 in here, so it's already warmer in here than it is outside. Let's shut this up and see what we gain, and I don't know what time is it. It is 440. Let's see what we gain. Try to not burn this thing down. Put a light up there. In case it gets dark, we can still see what we're doing in here. The low is 28. The high says 65, but I really, uh, it'd be crazy if it got it. It might get it up to 65 or better in here. All right. 440. Come back out and. 15 20 minutes or something and it was at 31 degrees been 20 minutes ish 21 minutes almost 22 let's get in here it's been zipped up door was zipped open that up shut that i did come in in like 10 minutes and hung the thing up that way it's not so low because, I mean, this is where you want it. And it was already... It hit 40 by then. So, 12 minutes it had hit 40. And it says 50 degrees right now. Again, 24 outside. So, I think right there, you're good. And another thing, the wind, there's really no wind, I guess. But, I bet it would be even warmer had this been the screen faced that way the other way i'm gonna keep this rolling nice and red hot now 53 just keeps climbing man i do feel it's a little cold here and it's not like you couldn't do something about it you know if you really wanted to hang a blanket or i have those maybe i should try that if i just hung hung it at the corner should I go get one? Should I go get a panel, see if that's possible? All right, 
we'll go get one. Give me a minute. All right, I went and grabbed that panel. It's down here. I didn't put it up yet because I'm still curious. I don't know that I want to hang it right away. But there's no doubt I can hang that panel from the outside up top. It's obviously not going to Velcro down, and I think outside it would blow around more. I don't know. But I wanted to at least try to hang it while it's still light. So I went behind this pole and then just hooked it up into the sleeve that holds the pole. And hell, that totally will work. Now, if it was super windy, you could do the bottom too, the exact same way, you know? You might not even have to go around that. You could just hook straight into there. And again, none of this is like super airtight or nothing, but there's 55 and with that on here i believe it'll climb very quick and if you're like oh you can't see anything you could always do your windows you know what i mean put this one up and then you could see out you could almost seal this up pretty freaking good really more than you'd want to because you would have so much humidity in here with burning propane for damn sure even if that was off you breathing in here although you do have a fair amount of room you'd, you'd be better leaving this pretty loose just so it could breathe because there is no you know a lot of canopies will have like this and this would be screen and then there'd be a raised so it can breathe out of the top for heat in no way do i say that it is safe to run this muddy heater in here closed up you know what I'm saying? Not a good idea. Another cool test would just to be to take a space heater. Because if you camp at a state campground, you have electricity. That would be, you know, then you don't have any fumes off the propane. It wouldn't be fumes anyway, but you get my point. And it'd be free. You wouldn't need the propane. So, or the big buddy heater. You can go buy a space heater for absolutely nothing. So, another another cool test maybe all right guys it has been one hour I'll zip this thing up sneak in here real quick oh it's warm it's warm great video i know I thought it would be warmer when I came out. 68. It says 22 degrees outside. I don't know if you saw that or not. Feels like 11. That's not too bad. This would cost a lot. But if it was, a you know, your only option. I thought, honestly, I thought when I came out here it would be like 75 in here. But I still do feel a lot of cold air coming from there honestly if i was gonna sleep in here i'd move the buddy heater over to there and that way any breeze that came in would also help maybe distribute the heat possibly i really don't know i think that's about as good as we're gonna get but that's pretty damn good that's my house but you do feel a breeze like i said so it is kind of chillier than me just chilling in my house but not bad Final thoughts on the results of what we saw today. It was pretty good, I thought. 24 degrees, I think, when we started, and 22 by the final result. 22 outside, 68 in the uh, quick set venture. So, pretty good, pretty good results. I mean, that's the big buddy heater. Uh, you could use other ones and get different results, you know another thing guys we got a lot of different reviews coming up here so i'd like you know if you want to watch my videos like subscribe comment uh next video is probably going to be on this master built i don't know if you can even see the screen 
but master belt it's a portable smoker it's a little mini one uh yeah i got the electric one also because mostly i'll be using it at campgrounds i don't need to use this in the backwoods so i think it'll be a nice addition we'll be able to smoke some good meals i got the mavic mini also i've had it for months uh, i've been flying it it's legit it's like you feel very confident with it and this is my first drone flying experience ever another cool thing guys picked up a while back now i probably had this a year or better now uh but i've never used it with you guys or even used it for what i bought it for it was it's a little mini projector this is lg this is a, a mini beam i don't even know if they still make this exact one ph 150b uh it's a pretty legit little thing but uh I, the, I've, I have a screen for it. It's easy to do at the house, but it's not easy to carry while camping. So I'm looking for a better screen for that. Something easier. If you guys got any uh, ideas, maybe leave something in the comment and I'll see it. But, you know, I've seen inflatable screens, stuff like that. I'm just trying to think of the easiest way. You know, not something I have to tie a bunch of strings to trees and stuff like that. So... But guys, there's a lot of cool stuff coming up on the channel, hopefully, and uh, it'll be weather, better weather here shortly, and we'll be out camping and using all this stuff. There's uh, other stuff coming, cool stuff. I don't want to give you any hints, but you know, there's some cool stuff coming. We'll have fun. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Thanks, guys.